Hello everyone, how's it going? Uh, another quick video today. Uh, one of my favorite things that I like to make for breakfast. Um, very simple. Uh, chorizo and egg tacos. Um, you can do them a variety of ways. You can scramble the eggs. You can make them you know, over easy. You can do them uh, you know, sunny side up. Any way you want. But I'm just going to show you how to do them, I guess, over easy. And uh, how to make your chorizo nice and crispy. Basically kind of encrusts the egg and crispy chorizo and it's delicious so get started all you need is some Mexican pork chorizo some eggs uh, and then for the tacos you just need a uh, you know corn tortillas are great and I, I like mine with uh, fresh guacamole and uh, some queso fresco sprinkled on top and that's pretty much it uh, there's a ton of flavor in the chorizo so it uh, spices up the eggs nicely so we get started all we need to do is uh, Start cooking the chorizo, and I will show you that in a sec. Turn your range on to uh, medium, medium high heat. It's going to uh, cut this up and put it in. Make sure you get it all in there. And then uh, with our spatula, we're just going to start chopping it up into pieces. We're going to continue doing this while it cooks and we're going to reduce it kind of into a uh, ground beef like texture. And we're going to do this for probably, I don't know, five minutes or so. Keep chopping it up. And as it gets warmer, it will be easier to do this. So keep monitoring it, keep chopping it up when you can. And then I'll show you what to do next. And while you're doing this, you can also start to, uh, I guess, toast, or I don't know what you call it with your tortillas, but get a, get a nonstick pan, heat it up to high, and you can start to, uh, Heat your tortillas up. Just put them, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds inside of that, and that'll get them nice and crispy ish. You don't want them too crispy. But you can do that while you're waiting for this because this recipe doesn't really take very long. So just keep chopping it up, let it cook, and I'll tell you when to uh, add the eggs in. Also, if you have a uh, splatter guard, they're a good time to use it for this. Uh, sometimes when it gets you know near close to done, the, the larger fatty chunks in there start to pop and uh, spray red grease everywhere. So use that if you got them. You see it'll start to uh, fortify, get a little crispier, get a little greasier. It's good. It's what we want. So we're not quite ready to add the eggs just yet, but once you start to see the um, Bottom part's getting crispy, like it starts to change color and get caramelized, that's when we'll want to add the eggs. Okay, now after a while you'll see it starts turning a little more brown, uh, and you'll hear popping more often. And at this point what we're going to want to do is just spread the chorizo out in the pan, kind of spread it around. I'm going to be putting five eggs in here, and uh, so you want to cover the whole bottom. So here we go, we're going to add our eggs. If you want to scramble them, go ahead and just uh, pop them in and then just use your spatula to mix them up uh, until they look scrambled. I'm going to do over easy and that is just, you know, you let them sit on there until they start to get a little bit solidified and then uh, flip them over. You'll see what it looks like when it's done. But it is amazing and delicious. The chorizo kind of crusts around the egg and just gives it this nice texture to go along with it. Adds a ton of, the, the chorizo adds a ton of flavor to it, so you don't really need to uh, add any additional spices or anything, which makes this recipe super easy. So I'll show you in a couple seconds what this looks like. Probably about a minute or two on each side. 
for the eggs. It looks like after about a minute or so, what we want, we don't want this where the eggs are clear all the way around the yolk. We want to wait until it starts to look a little more like this um, with the entire white being uh, cooked. So probably another, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute depending on which one it is. And I will uh, flip them over. Okay, the eggs are just about done on one side. We'll flip them over now. See the trees are starting to get nice and crispy. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Oops. Beautiful. So we're gonna let those cook maybe another minute or so, firm up the yolk a little, and the other uncooked portion on the other side. So I'll show you what it looks like in the taco here in a sec. Just another minute or so and they're done. Turn off your stove top and uh, we're going to transfer these into our tortilla shells. Alright, and uh, basically just put one egg per taco. And then I like to dress mine with uh, guacamole and uh, queso fresco, very simple, very easy, not much else to it. You can obviously put whatever the heck you want on your eggs, but I prefer the smooth taste of that. So, let's add a nice little spoon, some guac. Queso fresco to top it off. And there you go. Got yourself a delicious, delicious breakfast taco. Whip that up in about, I don't know, 10 minutes or at the most. So there you go. Crispy chorizo egg uh, with guac and Okay, so fresco. So I'm gonna eat the heck out of this as I'm quite hungry. Thank you so much for watching and if you've got any questions, just uh, leave a comment. Thanks again for watching.